Okay, so today's video is going to be kind of weird. Uh, I had a very different plan for it, but I was watching uh, Kidology and her like dating preferences video or whatever it was. Um, and well, before I get into that, I was I was want to say you know no I'm not I'm not gonna do a full suit today. Just the shirt and the shirt and the vest. I think shirt and the vest is fine. Um, one problem with this is how big the collar is. Um, I'm really interested in making my own like uh like luxury royalty um luxury royalty like clothing clothing line so but but the main problem with it so if you understand clothes or anything like that the main problem with making your own clothing brand is like there's so many different sizes right and so that's what's good about having a tailor because you can tailor it to each of each person's own needs but um i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to design a way where you can have like a changeable collar, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to find a way to have a changeable collar. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's doable or not because I think the you'd have to like be cutting out fra fabric or something. But I'm trying to think of a way to do that because if you could, if you could have a changeable collar, you could also have changeable like cuffs. You could have changeable like everything. And I know that they do it with like um, like they do it with like pants, but but I guess then you have like it scrunched up, right? But, um, but yeah, so that's like, that's the main problem with my, with, with this shirt right now. I don't, I don't like this collar comes out way too much. I think, I think you're only supposed to have like, yeah, I think you're only supposed to have like two fingers worth of, of, or one finger worth of width or something like that. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Um, and, and also dude, I've been working so fucking much recently, recently I've been working so much. Uh, I'm doing this like side job for like. I'm doing this like side job for uh, my grandmother, I'm trying to put together all of her furniture. You know, she like bought a bunch of stuff from Amazon, and uh, like it needs to be all put together. So she's like paying me to put it together, and I've been work like that 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 shit. I, I worked like seven hours on that shit alone yesterday, not including the eight hours that I did at my actual job. Um, but either way, so I was wanting to uh, main topic of the video. I was wanting to kind of talk about the ideas that Kidology is talking about. Um, and I, you know, I'm, I'm an incel, I'm an, I, I am, I am an incel, okay, so I, um, it's kind of interesting, right, it's interesting that we can have quote-unquote conversations, like, the way that, the way that people say conversations online, like, Sneeko's always like, oh, I'm starting a conversation, no, they're not, um, but we can have these conversations online where, um, you know, a, a, like, a, a mixed race um, mostly white guy from America can have the same conversation about, um, what, what a, what a, uh, black woman from the UK is having. And so I, I want to, I want to give, there, there's many different perspectives on this and I want to give, I want to give mine, you know, I want to start, I want to add to the conversation. I want to get more people thinking about the conversation because it's, it's definitely something that's very interesting and it's definitely something that is, um, pertinent to our generation and also i was going to make something like i was going to make an and this is the other video that i was going to make but it's going to be like uh zoomers like like I, I zoomers restored my faith in humanity or something like that right but um zoomers need to have like zoomers need to come to some conclusions um we we really do because this whole thing of like not having not like a lot of men are not partaking in women and a lot of women are not partaking in men um and the ones that are partaking in each other the the people that are being couples um you can call them like normies or whatever the fuck but even still those people aren't like enjoying their experience and they're not having the best experience and we need we need to structure i i think me personally i think we need to structure it i think we need to go back to arranged marriages and so on and so forth women have the children stay at home men go out and work easy clap okay i think i think the structure needs to needs to come back um but but she but she makes some interesting points which is that uh she doesn't and, and, and also this is going to be another video which is like you know women don't care about money um Women really do not care about money. All of this like red pill shit where it's like, oh my god, a woman wants me to make a hundred thousand dollars a year. 
They don't give a fuck about that. They, they care about it insofar as it brings them a good time. If you're not, like, an interesting person, if you can't, like, make her laugh, if you can't um, make her feel good, then, then they care about money, obviously. Because if you can't make her feel good, you've got to find something that does. And usually that's done with, like, buying gifts or whatever. But the, the, the women that are the types of kidology... She doesn't care about money. She like you could you could literally live with her. She's living on her own. She could take care of you. So what would she care about in a man? She would care about him being able to uh, make her feel good and make her have a good time. Um, and insofar as you having money, you doing whatever, it doesn't matter to her. And we you know from the red pill perspective, from like the the red pill and so perspective, we could say like, oh yeah, but just to be able to get. Just to be able to get in her view, you have to have money. You have to be an upstanding guy. You have to be, you have to be sharp, dapper. You know what I'm saying? Um, just to be able to get in her perspective, you have to be that. Um, and, and yeah, that's true to an extent. But if you saw her at like college or something, um, these women aren't caring about money. They're not caring about uh, you know your accomplishments or none of that. And and what's funny is it actually turns them off because these women are kind of, I, I don't want to say innocent, but um, they they disregard the whole the whole frame of like uh, money and accomplishments and stuff, and so because they're disregarding that whole that whole frame, it's like they're like that's not going to make me have a good time. You know, you're not talking about anything that's interesting, and you're not making me have a good time while you're talking about it. You're just talking about you and what you've done. And so like the whenever you're mentioning your accomplishments or how much money you have, it just turns these women off. And it's not for for them. It's not so much about how much you can do for them it's more about and i mean I still it it still is how much you can do for them but it's it's more like uh you know emotionally what can you do for them spiritually what can you do for them um but she said something interesting which was like she doesn't want to have kids or I, I, it was it was kind of vague on whether she wanted to have kids or not um she she said that the men want her want her to have kids or the men want to have kids and that's like a deal breaker or some shit um and this is interesting because for me, kids are my main priority. I don't even want a wife. I just want kids. Like that's 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 my that's my goal. I don't I don't want a wife. I want kids, um, and I'm Christian, so I have to I have to have a wife to have kids. Um, so that's my that's my trajectory, right? But it's interesting that because she was talking about like, oh, I want to get a dog. I want to get a cat. I want to own my own home, and it's interesting that. Not like not having kids is is planted into into women's heads these days, and you could talk about the whole like gender flip that went on. Um, I think you know in between like 2000 to 2010, all of those um, all of those kids, like the women were raised as men and the men were raised as women. Um, and so, if if you're like me and you were raised in that time, you kind of have a womanly um, worldview put into you by society, right? And same thing with the, with the women. Women have a manly worldview put into you by society. And so the women aren't really worried about, um, they're not really worried about ki having kids or becoming a wife or becoming a mother. Um, they're worried about other, other shit, like what I would call superficial shit. They're worried about, um, you know, having fun and, and different shit like that. And whereas the men are worried about having kids because that's what a woman should be worried about. But now that womanly worldview has been put into men. And so the men are worried about having kids. And so it's, it's always, it, it is just interesting. Um, I, I was thinking about making another video where I'm, where I talk about, uh, because kidology has kind of, I mean, she's, she's a, she's a work in and, in and of herself. Um, I don't want to act like I, I agree with her or I like any of her viewpoints. I, even though I would say I am kind of, uh, more right wing, I, I like completely, I completely disavow everything that she says. Um, I don't know. It could be because I'm an incel <laughs> and, I, and I just, uh, I just, uh, get, get like, uh, pissed off while I'm listening to her. I don't know. I don't know what it could be. Um, but, but I was going to make another video where I was like, uh, I'm an incel, ask me questions or some shit like that. Um, and I was going to say, you know, here's why I'm celibate. Women are, women are this way. Um, there are, there aren't really any good women to search out for. Um, even if they are worth, even if they are, there are women which are, uh, well, even if there are women to search out for, it's not worth it to search out for them. It's worth it to build yourself up and, 
um, you know, make make your own make your own castle type shit. But yeah, so that that's that's kind of that's kind of all I was wanting to talk about in today's video. Um, I don't want it to go on for too long. I'm probably gonna make a couple other videos um, adding on to this. Um, obviously the zoomer shit, and then obviously um, you know the whole dating aspect between men and women in today's in today's world. Um, and I'm probably gonna make like dating between men and women, and then after that I'm gonna do a racially like like a racial analysis on it. Um, so that's it. Adios.